Hey everybody, um, welcome back. So, today is Wednesday. It's not exactly Mother's Day. I was hoping that we would get to plant on Mother's Day. But, um, I did do some planting on Mother's Day. But, unfortunately, living in Wisconsin, that is the result. We have no plants to show for it because they all got frosted out. So, I checked the weather. I made sure that everything was going to be good to plant today. Um, our temperatures aren't supposed to be dropping low again. So, yay! Um, so today, I'm going to be putting everything in the ground that we had originally put into these coats. Remember these? Yeah, they've gotten bigger. They've gotten a lot bigger. Um, so they need to go into the ground now. I don't have time to wait anymore. Otherwise, they're going to die. And we don't want that. Because we put a lot of work into that. So, I am going to start getting the rest of the garden ready for planting. And then we will go through and we will plant everything and then I will show you the end result when we get there. So now it is time for the hard work. Oh, it's hard work. All right, guys. So I'm going to get to it and I will show you the end result. Okay guys, so I know I said I would show you the end result, but as I was planting I realized that some of you may not have ever planted a garden before. So this would be a whole new experience for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to plant some tomato plants, and you're going to watch. See a beautiful clothesline in the background. As you remember, these are our tomato plants. I don't know how well you can see them, but there they are. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig a hole. I already broke up the soil pretty well here, um, but we want to make sure that the soil is loose. That way when we put them in the ground, the roots have a place to go. Because that's a mistake that a lot of people make, is they try to plant a plant in really hard soil like this, and it doesn't work so well. Because the roots have nowhere to go. So, you got to make sure that our roots have somewhere to go. Now, we open up the hole a little bit, just enough that when we take this out of the cup, like that, we can put it into the hole and we're not gonna bury the plant. And so we push the dirt around the plant, not on it. Um, because if you put the dirt on the plant, the plant's not going to go through the dirt again. It already did that once, doesn't want to do it again. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to break up the dirt. Because we already got this one in the ground. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Break up the dirt around it. Make sure the roots have a place to go. Empty out the hole a little bit for our plant. And the size of your hole will be all dependent on the size of your plant. If you have a bigger plant, you can make a deeper hole. These guys, as you can see, are really little. So, yeah, just like that. See? And this is how they'll look once you have them in the ground. So, just so you know what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. And 
like I said, I will come back when it all is, is all done, and I will show you the end result. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So I've gotten the tomato plants water er, in the ground. They're all right here. Zoe, get out of there. Come on. Um, now that those are all in the ground, now it's time to go through and water them. Um, we want to make sure that they all have enough water that they will grow. So, I'm going to do that. I just wanted to let you guys know what I was going to do. And I will come back in a minute. Alright guys, so I watered everything. As you can see, it is a valley of little wet spots all over the place. Um, these deep, long trenches here that I dug, those are water irrigation trenches. That means that when it rains, the water will collect in these trenches and it will continue to water the plants. Um, because the plants will suck up what they need and obviously some will soak into the soil but yeah so as you can see these are all of my tomato plants there's quite a few of them here um, now we have all of this to fill and you can see the tomato plants didn't take up even a quarter of that so it's a good thing we've got other stuff. So, I'm going to plant the rest of this garden, and I will show you it when it is all done. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. Just wanted to give you an update. Um, so, I've gotten my onions, which are those, in the ground. I've gotten my lettuce which is this here, gotten that in the ground, and then I've started planting my peppers. With my peppers I'm doing something a little bit different. So on the tomatoes I was showing you that I put them in the ground and then I watered them. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting the water in the hole before I plant the peppers and I will show you how that is done as well again here's my beautiful clothesline and the back of my box so with peppers you want to give at least a foot of space because they're going to get big they're a lot like tomatoes and they're going to get up and they're going to bush out. So, I give them at least a foot of space. Not to mention the root system needs a ways to go. So, I'll measure out about a foot. And that is where I'll dig my hole. Now, like I said before, this is hard dirt. you got to break that up. you got to have a place for the roots to go. In order for them to be able to expand. Because if they can't expand, they won't grow. And if they don't grow, you're not going to get anything. It's not going to produce any food. So, I make about a six inch circle of loose soil. See, this is loose soil. So, I'm going to dig that down deep enough for one of these little cups. Now these cups are about two inches, so I'm going to go about three inches down, and now I'm going to put my water into the hole. That loosens the soil at the bottom, and it waters the plant from the bottom up. The roots are what collect the water. So, if the roots don't have water, the plant doesn't have water. So now we just stick our pepper into the hole 
like that. You can see how it's getting wet on the bottom. And then we just push our soil over the top. Now all of the water is in the bottom of the plant. So I don't have to go back and water these until tomorrow. See? And it's that simple. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these pepper plants. And I will get back to you in just a little bit. Hey everybody, so the garden isn't done yet, but we ran into a slight problem. Um, while I was walking around the garden, I managed to take about an inch of a layer of skin off the bottom of my foot, and so I'm not going to be able to finish the garden today. So, this is what I have done so far, as you can see. All of my peppers are in, my lettuce, onions, and tomatoes, and the rest of it is just going to have to wait until I can get around to doing it. So, yeah, like I said before, like, subscribe, and share, and when I go to finish the garden, I'll let you guys know.